Hello there guys. Welcome back to my scum single player. Now, I've been quite busy. As you can probably tell. And I'm planning to be even busier. I hope. Uh, I did a few more runs into the city, collected a few more things and bits just I needed for building. But I want to spend the majority of today's episode getting this at least this top floor done here. So one, two, three, four floor panels. And just realized I have missed a support. So I need to put one of you down. Always do that. But thank you. Right, so I need two, four, six logs and sticks. Sticks I've got plenty of, so I need six logs. So yeah, I'm enjoying the building. This is how I get my legs. It's going to be a calmer episode today, I hope. Not necessarily running into too many zombies. As we don't have currently any tractors, as this is the only vehicle in the game. Which a lot of people... <laughs> whoops. I have seen are thought that they have removed all of the vehicles and yes they have removed them but don't worry they will bring them back they're being uh, upgraded to be able to fit onto the modular system so um, eventually the SUV the tractor and all that kind of stuff will come back slowly but surely and um, they will be on the modular system, so you will then be able to upgrade those too, in some certain way. But yeah, as we don't have a tractor, I'm shoving them in the Wolfswagen. Just because to carry everything would take a long time. And I can't be bothered to carry everything, or to do the trick where you flick it across the floor like you just saw. It would take forever, so it's easier to chop, load the car, drive back, and then that way you only have to unload it once, thankfully, and not several hundred times. It does cost a bit more fuel, yes, and I do need some fuel, to be honest, because we're pretty much at half a tank. Uh, maybe a bit less. Can we get one more in there? Probably not, actually. Oh, no, we can't get one more in there. Okay. Righty ho. Let's head back. Finish off this little bit. <clears throat> I haven't actually done any first person driving. Ignore the twigs and the leaves. Ooh. Right. That as close to the door as possible. Handbrake on. Oh, okay. I jumped out quite quick. And then all you do is you whack these on the floor. And then that should, hopefully, be enough. Uh, what did I say? Six. One, two, three, four, three, five, six. Hopefully that'll be enough. Just to get these little bits done. There we go. And now, twigs. And for the twiggies, you want to use these things. Let me just put these back in here because I will need them. And just in case they despawn. One, two, three. I do have loads of these. The only problem with these are, as you guys probably know already, is that when you chop them up, they do spread out everywhere. So you can actually miss uh, the twigs and the long sticks because they just sort of fan out in quite a large area. And you get hundreds from these. You get tons and tons of twigs and long sticks. So that's why it's better to chop down a tree and get these than it is to chop all the little bushes because you just get a lot more. Let's see, they just all go... And if I go out here, 
Yeah, see? They just come through the building and they keep going. Mm -hmm. So, what I'll do is I'll just bung as many as I can in my bag for now. Just so I don't lose track of them, that's all. And then, see, there's even more in here. And then I just put the long sticks into a little pile. Keep all the little ones. And it's easier to use the little ones because you get more of them. For the big buildings, obviously. Uh, da -da -da -da, cut into small sticks. And then you just keep cutting. And I think you get four. With the axe, I think you get four. Might be six. Yeah. Four. And keep cutting these. Just keep cutting them all down. Keep cutting them. And then hopefully we should have enough to do... What is it? Four per one? Is it four? Yeah, four. So we should well and truly have enough by one of those bundles of branches to do this second floor. And maybe possibly even some walls as well. Which would be nice. Put the stairs in. Got my position for my fire. That's the only thing I don't like. Uh, I don't think you should be allowed to put a fireplace on a wooden twigged surface. Because that's just going to go very, very quickly. I know it's in your game, but, you know, maybe it's something to look at in the future. Maybe you need to put, like, a stone something down or tiles or something. That would be quite cool. Get some tiles. Put like four or four by eight tiles there to be able to put the fireplace down. That would be quite a nice little a nice little touch. But again. Oh. Hello, there's the audience. Come to say hello. Right, one more long stick. Then we should have plenty of small sticks. Good. Right. There we go. And now, what I can do is I can put the rest of the floor on. Look like this. I'm only going to go two stories. It doesn't need to be any bigger. I mean, yes, you can. I could spend months. Oops, wrong one. Building one. A massive castle. But wait, I just don't have the time. It would be nice, and it would be awesome, because you can do some awesome designs. But, um... Yeah, you need a lot of time to do that. A lot of materials you need to harvest. I was going to say. No way we're at sticks. Gimme, 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 gimme. There you go. Right. First floor is on. Look at that. Here we go. I also like the sound it makes as well. When you walk on the twigs. Really, oh, not the twigs. It's the thatch. That's the word I was looking for. Thatch. It's really cool. Right. On to the next bit. Uh, hello. Here we go. Yeah, these guys, these guys will need logs. Do we have a double balcony? Uh, let's not have a double balcony. Let's just have some windows. So we can see the beautiful, beautiful lake view all around. Have some nice windows. Go. And it's probably going to reach the limit in a minute. But we may be able to get the last two in. Yeah, okay. What's the trick? There we go. Oh, I'm running out of... need to go and get some more rope as well, but we may as well just... Put what we can in. And I will need some luggage. There we go. But sticks. Six, we should be okay. We should certainly be okay for sticks. There we go. These do take eight, so but I've got plenty more of those uh, twigs, uh, those bundles 
in the boxes out the front, so. And I've got two here as well. It is fine. That one's got eight. That one's got eight. That one's got eight. That one's got eight. That one's got five. Right. <clears throat> Pick one of these up. I have also been hearing and reading that a lot of people are uh, not happy with the fame point system and how they reworked it. And you can see there my account balance is minus 25 and that is because no, I didn't die in here. I died on my other single player server that I have, which is just used for testing things and mucking around and, you know, spawning things in and so on and so forth. And it seems that the... I've seen it before as well uh, on the other people, so it is a known thing. I don't know if they're going to change it in the future, but your account balance is actually linked. So if you go to your test server and you spawn in, I don't know, 50k, and then you log off of that one and you log on to this one, your your sort of non-test server, if you like, uh, you'll probably see that the 50k has been transported across. Don't ask me how, don't know how it works, but <clears throat> it is currently like that. I think it's a bug. I'm pretty, I don't think it should be like that in real life, so I think it. I think they're probably going to patch that shortly. But that's why it says minus 25 if you're thinking that I have died and, you know, had to pay for myself to come back to life. Which is not true, because I have no money anyway. Because I haven't deposited anything in a bank. Eight. Eight. So, yeah, a lot of people have been... Um, not too happy with the um, fame points, and to be honest, I don't actually know why, because to me, before the updates, the fame points were just basically nothing. They, they, on a single player, they were basically, you know, nothing. But now, the fact that you actually need to get fame points to use the traders, uh, I think, get these off the stairs. I think is actually pretty cool to be honest and and I think it works quite well you know you actually have to run around the map you have to loot everything like that to get your your fame points up so at least you can buy look I've built what we've been to two villages I've built this bottom half, cut down a few trees. Um, haven't cooked any food. I've done a bit of driving, and obviously, you know, a bit of melee and killing of the puppets. And I'm already at 273. So you know, uh, where are we? Eight, 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 eight. eight. Eight, 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 and I think it's just the one on the stairs that is missing. This one, yes. So I think it's actually, you know, quite a good little system that they've got in place now with this fame points. And that you have to pay to get back onto the island. Because a lot of people forget about the lore of the game. You know, they think it's just a survival game where you're thrown on an island and you have to survive. Yes, it is that. But there is actually a law behind it, which is this this island interact point is blocked. This island is is made. Well, no, the island's not made. Well, the island is natural, but you know everything on it is made and is controlled by Tech One, and we're here for your guys' pleasure, basically. We're here to entertain and, and try and survive the evil puppet controlling death things that there are. So, you know, how's my axe doing? Ooh, that needs repairing and I don't have... I don't 
I think we probably need a grinding stone for this one, and I don't have one. Uh, can I repair it with this? No. Ooh, okay, so we're going to have to switch to the old-fashioned axe then. Because you're about done, sir. And so is that one, so we're n probably not going to be able to do all of that then. Hmm. I didn't think about the durability of my axe. That is my fault. Because this is on 54, so maybe... I don't know, there's quite a few panels up there. But yeah, the... The lore of the island is that we're here to entertain the rich and famous. You know, the the world outside doesn't quite look like how it looks like out your window. This is set in the future. There's, you know, a bit more futuristic stuff going on. And uh, we are prisoners. We have been here for arson in most cases. Or, you know, whatever criminal fair you have been part of in your younger years and we are sent here as opposed to a 4x4 cell block to just basically try and survive so I understand the fame points and for me I don't mind the fame points I think they're actually okay and I quite like the idea like I said I don't want to use the traders too much I've said that from when they came out because I prefer you know being a real survivalist but i can understand that you know people do want to use oh yeah we are full again good 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 people do want to use the traders and it is good you know if you're running around for three days and you're trying to find you know a drill or a rebar cutter to finish your workbench off at your base and you just can't find it and you think ah the hell with it i'm gonna go to the traders and just buy one you know so it kind of kind of works to be honest so I don't mind it at all, but I have heard a lot of people don't like it at all, uh, and read and seen that they're not too happy with it. And all I can say to that is, you know, it is a, a sort of, you know, it's still in development, this game. <laughs> it's not going to be for everyone's liking. Yes, I will admit that with 0 0.8 did come a couple of bugs. But look at that, it hasn't even been out for a month, or just coming up to a month, probably, by the time you see this video, actually. And, um, it's already, this is going to be a bit tricky, because I have to carry them upstairs. Ooh. And it's already got two hotfixes, quite big hotfixes as well, if you go and have a look at the patch notes for the hotfixes. They've actually done quite a big thing. Uh, how's my food doing, doing all this heavy lifting? Yeah. Ooh. I'm going to have to visit the bathroom in a minute. All right, this is going to take a bit of time. Because I can't be bothered to just pull them all upstairs bit by bit. So I'm just going to do it this way. Get the closest ones done first. Although you should really start with the further away ones. Um... I have got plenty of metal. One thing I have been keeping topped up is all of my metal. I don't know if I want to upgrade to the metal. I think, if I'm honest, I like the concrete one and I like the brick one. Maybe we'll see how far we go, if we can survive that long. <laughs> I'll upgrade to brick. But I would like to upgrade to the second stage of wood cabin not this twig stuff because the cabin actually looks really cool uh, I like what they've done with that and what the stairs look like I think it looks pretty awesome so I don't know maybe we'll get to brick one day I'm not gonna do it now obviously we still need to finish this and put a roof on and get a bed and move all that stuff inside and get actually set up as a home uh, Yep. Oh, I need some more threadage. And more logs. Yeah, if we could put the roof on today, I would be happy. If we could put the roof on today, I would be happy. I'm not sure about that. Depends. If the roof only needs twigs, let's have a quick look. There is the roof. The roof? No, it does need a log. Damn it. 
and 10 twigs. Ooh, so I'm going to have to do quite a bit of trees. So we might not get the roof on today, then it depends. We'll see how far we get. Because this is actually going to take a little bit of time. But that's what I've had planned for today. Just a slow, steady, steady paced, easy. Uh, let's get this out. And just so we're fully, fully clean. There we go. I do like how these look. They look so cool. Proper rugged 80s. I love it. It's awesome. But yeah, like I said, 0 0.8 did come with some bugs, but they are fixing it as quick as they possibly can. And in my opinion, I think the devs are doing an awesome job. But the fact that they've got those two massive hot fixes out already, like I said, in less than a month or just coming up to a month. I also need to get this door. Or do we go doorless? Doorless, bootless, hoodless. Proper renegade. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Also can't wait until the um the new wheels come in. If you saw the stream event. Did I get four from that one? Oh, I did. If you saw the stream event that they did when they showcased 0.8, I'm very thirsty. Yes, that's another problem. I have nothing to drink. I'm having to drink dirty water. And I fear that one day I'm going to get a bit of nasty poisoning for it. But all I can currently do right now, I just have two sips and that keeps me going for a little while. I can do until I find some water. The, the um, well in the town is empty, so can't get any from there. Right. If you watched the 0 0.8 event, you would have seen that along with the other car, which should come pretty soon. Oh, there's two trees here, which is nice. Should come pretty soon. Uh, there's also different tyres for the Golf as well. Oh, not the Golf, sorry, the Volkswagen. The Wolfswagen. Big, chunky, off-road, sort of BF Goodrich all-terrain mud tyres. Um, which look pretty nice. So, But they're not in the game yet, I don't know why. Maybe they're bugs. But they removed them from this release build, from this 0 0.8 release build. But they, they were there in the stream event, if you want. You can go back and have a look at the stream event that everybody did. Uh, now I can't see, so uh, I need to get rid of you, because you're right in the way. You're a big bush. And you're a big bush. Also, I need to set up my farming spot as well. I've got tons of seeds. I keep finding seeds. I think... Uh, whoa, I'm disorientated. There's my car. I think um, maybe they need to lower the seed spawn rate a little bit, because it's like every... That's better. We've got some sticks as well. Like every five or six containers that you loot, there is like um, a bag of seeds in it or some seeds. They're just everywhere, the seeds. So maybe the seeds should sort of, you know, should lower that just a wee bit, maybe. Uh, where's my twigs? There's my big branches. There, there is another log. I knew there was. There go. Well, it can sometimes be a bit tricky doing it this way because you can miss things. But you just have to hunt around and you'll find them. Right, wooden log. Tree bark. Small wooden log. Small, small, small. I want big ones. That's all we care about today for now. And let's throw these in here as well. Uh, yes, 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 yes. How are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah, okay, that will do for now. I don't want to come and get that one in a minute. How's my axe? 50. Okay, so we should maybe, maybe, maybe get the roof on. 
Who knows? Who knows? Priority now is to get these rules up. Priority is to get these rules up. But I thought this would be an awesome place. Right on the beach. Lake. Sorry. Handbrake. Nice little big oak tree there. Whoa. Ah, because I was blocking the thing again. Okay. Nice little, little, little big oak tree. Want that one? 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 My dude is currently shivering. He's a bit odd. I don't know why he's shivering. Why can I not? No. I suppose I could have built a ramp. Is that all of them? Could be. All right. Manual labor. Heave ho. I've done this for plenty of times in my life. Nothing wrong with a bit of manual labor. In fact, it's good for everybody to do a bit of manual labor. Get all your bones and your muscles moving. Especially heaving these big ass logs upstairs. That will certainly give you a bit of a workout. Your legs on these. You'll be burning afterwards. You would be burning. Right, that's... That one got two? Yes. Uh, two. Two. Okay, so a few left. One more tree, I think, for logs. Ah, no, because I need logs for roof. So more than one tree. What I will do, I may also run out of thread actually. Yes, that might be a problem. Might have to go and find more wire. Or make some improvised rope. I could do that. Got plenty of sticks. Could make some improvised rope. Improvised rope. I could do that. Uh okay, two left, yes. Yes, two left. For the logs, do we have two? Do we have two? Oh, we've got two. Perfect. Numero uno. Not that one. One. And yoink. Right. Oh, we do have another one there. Okay. So this should be these walls done. What I will do is I shall quickly go and get a bit of a rope. I do have some... See, I've been collecting. I've got hundreds of these. Uh, there's my rope. And hopefully... How are you doing? You need rope. 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 Ta-da! Look at that. How long did that take? Five, ten minutes? Right, two more to do. No, not metabolism. Yeah, let's go for windowed. Why not? Let's keep it all the same. Oi. Click. Yeah, this can that can be a little bit frustrating, but well not frustrating, but it can sort of, you know. Go where it wants to go. Right, you're in. Ah, one more stick. A little swine. And then four logs. One stick. Do I have one stick? Can we get one stick? One stick? Stick? One stick! Which one had one? Right, four logs. Well, actually three logs, because we've got one right here. But we need more logs for the roof, so... Which is fine. <coughs> right. Another log run. How many do we actually need for the roof? Just one per thing? Two. So we're going to need quite a few, aren't we? We are going to need quite a few. 
no, no, not that way. No, no, go the right way. Oi, no, uh, uh. see what I mean? It can be a little bit silly. I didn't mean to fall off the stairs, but it's just a little bit of patience. Oh, when you get there in the end, get to from this side. Come on. Get on. Swine. Okay, that can be a bit... <laughs> that one's a bit tricky. There we go. So, we need... Oh, no, it is only one. Why does it say two down there, then? One, two, three... Four, five. Now, when you bit the when you do the roof, you should do the roof first, complete it, and then add your end bits. Because if I was to put a standard twig wall, uh, I've got no space. But if I was to put a standard twig wall there now, it wouldn't mold to the shape. If I build that first and then put the standard wall, it will mold to that shape and then you won't have a sort of odd looking wall. You'll see what I mean. I'll do that one first so I can show you. Right. Uh, logs. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, five, ten, thirteen, fifteen. So we need about twenty logs. Okay, they're not all going to fit in the car, but I'll get as many as I can. And sticks and rope. We may not be able to finish all of the wood because of the rope. Yeah, I forgot about that. Right. Uh, tree. Running out of trees. Here are two trees. Three trees. Handbrake. I want people to get seasick from my first person driving. Choppity chop. It would be better if I had a chainsaw, obviously, because. With a chainsaw, you get six logs per tree, as opposed to five or four. So, yeah. But I don't have a chainsaw. And although I have been looking for one when I've been out and about, I don't have one. So, so yeah, I can't really use what I don't have. But I pretty much cleared out this entire mini forest, apart from that one skinny tree over there and all the bushes. Pretty much cleared it out. Oh, there's another tree there which I can utilize for its luggage. Which is fine by me, because we need these logs. Although I'm generally not a fan of deforestization, but only a game, so... Mm. Oh, is that full already? It can't be full already. We can get one more log, but there's no point. I need to get them sticks out of there, so we'll use those in a second. Right. Hopefully two or three more runs. One tree there, and then it's going to be these little... Oh, there's another one there, and it's going to be the skinny ones. I don't want to chop that tree. That tree's nice. I like that tree. I like that tree. Right. You doink, you doink. Bum. This is what the tractor was good for. Because at that time... The tractor did actually have the biggest invent inventory space. So you just go into the forest, chop down all the trees within a vicinity, and just load up the tractor. But now, obviously, with the tractor not being here, one log. I wonder why that says two down there then, when you actually only need one. Where is it? Roof. See? Two. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. I'm glad it's only one. It means a little bit less work for me. 
I also need to put double doors in there as well. Ooh. Otherwise, I'll be a bit chilly. Uh, yes. Actually, whilst we're here, we may as well do the, the road. Because I need to see. Oh, once a bit. There you go. If you can't reach it, then it's just a case of jumping. Okay, we've got 150 rope left. That should hopefully be enough. In fact, the, whoops, fell off the stairs. In fact, that should definitely be enough. Uh, one, one, one. Oh, I need to do those two as well. But I would be happy if we get the roof on. I really will. At least then I'll be out of the rain. Although I do have a roof under here, I guess. You could class that as a roof. But I'm not classing that as a roof. I'm classing this as a floor. Because it is a floor. That is a roof. A roof should be pointy. And have a chimney, ideally. But it doesn't have a chimney. Which is a shame. It would be nice if it had a chimney. Nice big chimney stack. If they could implement the building mechanics from Valheim here. Ooh, that would be my belly. Ta-da! Then it would be mega. It would be even better than what it already is. Not that I'm complaining with what we've got. It's way better than just building that cabin. But I tell you what, though, you do need a lot more resources than that cabin. Holy hell. You need a lot more logs. What was it, the smallest one? 30 logs, if I remember. And I think the biggest one was 45 logs or 70. But something like this. Well, I suppose something like this is definitely more than the 30. Might be a bit less than the 70. But, uh, yeah, you do need more than the, the old 30. Although, having said that, you also don't need many planks. In fact, you don't need any planks. It's just logs and twigs. For this, you will probably need planks for the next upgradable, you know, the wood cabin thing, not the twig cabin, as it were. So, yeah. I still think you need less. Jesus Christ. Every time that does that, it scares the absolute bejesus out of me. Make that noise so loud. I don't know what the hell is happening. Let's see what I mean about these things flying everywhere. And there's probably more gone outside. So, yeah, look, see, there's another one on the stairs. So, it wouldn't surprise me if they have gone outside. To which they have. Oh, and a small stick, too. Oh, more over here, look, see. They do go everywhere. It's one thing to be aware of. That's why it's good to chop. Mm. That's what I want. I wondered what that was. <clears throat> That's why it's good to chop them on a sort of fairly wide open space and preferably where you can see not in any forest or anything you know cut down that make sure there's plenty of room around you plenty of free space around you where they can just sort of disappear to really because they will they will just disappear well we are nearly there ladies and gentlemen boys and girls Scummers, we are nearly there, and it is beginning to look rather sweet. I like it. Like it a lot. And I'm glad they have a pointy roof and not a flat roof. Cactus small sticks. I always hated having a flat roof box. Never liked that design. Back to sticks. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Stomach empty. Yes, yes. Okay, we shall deal with that in a momento. Right. Uh, hang on, I need to chop these two up. So we get the best utilization of stickage. Because it's long, 
four short sticks. So you're much better off cutting the long ones into the short ones because you get four short ones for one long one. You can do the math. I can't be bothered. So spend 30 seconds chopping it and it will save you time. One. Two. Three. Four. Ta-da! Oh, have we, have we... Ah, no, 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 look, see? Hiding away. Damn, one more. Right. Well, we have one more here. So we may as well, actually no, before I do this, let's be smart, let's be smart, hang on, because I should have, I should have, in my, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to risk it, don't want to be high on a building set, I should have, somewhere, here we go, and also, it gives me a chance, Grab, bite to eat. Quick lunch break. Under the tree in the shade. Beautiful. Obviously, once this is done, I will move that in there. I'm not going to be sleeping outside forever. It's just a shame I have no more logs left, and I need to go and get what two? Oh no, I need more because I need that, don't I? Um. Right, just more sticks. How's my axe? Thirty-four percent. Okay, so we should. We should hopefully get this done. We should hopefully get this done. These last two panels. That one. And that one. Right. So it's just... That way. Put that down there. You don't go there. You go there. You go up there. Two logs. Actually, I'm about to increase that. Whoops. Because now, if you put this, see, it automatically molds. And if you go and have a look outside, it won't be. See? It's cut off to the shape of the roof, but the roof. Well, I can't speak. But if I did that the other way, if I put that first and then the roof, you would have the full square wall there. So, top tip. Do roof first, then do wall. Um, you go there. Just fill this up. Might as well. Sometimes you got to do the old jumperoo. Right, that should... Whoa, right down the stairs. How are we doing? Just two logs, a couple of sticks. Put you there. No. Come on. Right. Come on. Okay, how are we doing? Two logs. So we need two, four, six, eight, nine, and ten. Ten logs. We can get ten logs. Sure we can. And probably a few more sticks. <clears throat> Let's go and get ten logs. And then she's a done. Okay. Having said that, I don't know why that one didn't mould. Maybe I need to do the other one first. Okay. 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 We can play around with that. That's fine. Yeah, handbrake. Kundbrake. Back down tree. How's my axe doing? Ooh, 27. Gonna be tight. It is going to be tight. I don't even know if we're gonna get 10 logs out of this, to be honest. Uh, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky log, six, cut down tree, we should get ten logs out of this, I hope, please get ten logs out of this, seven, eight, nine, ten, I did say 10, didn't I? That would be funny if I miscalculated. It'd be funny for you, it wouldn't be funny for me. Right. <coughs> Back. Hopefully this will be the last run. And... Then... Ooh, too far, too far. Uh, Right outside the front door. Okay, I was in the way. Uh, yeah, fuel. We do need fuel. I think that's going to be on the next episode's adventure. Uh, take these sticks, get them out of the way. There you go. Right. Uh, let's get all these in. I mean, I don't have to do this. I could just pick them up from where they are, but... I'm a neat freak, so... I have to be able to... be neat. One thing I do need to do... is just check... So which one didn't... morph. Those two did. That one didn't. Ah, okay, that's why. Look, see? Oh, being a complete idiot. That roof panel is built, so it's morphed to the edge. That roof panel isn't built, so that hasn't morphed. So I need to destroy that wall. Oh, hello. Sneaky little log trying to roll away. I need to destroy that... W Missed the stairs completely. Destroy that wall, and then... And then I should build that and put it back. So I need to destroy. There we go. Waste of eight sticks, but it's only eight sticks. It's not the end of the world. Better eight sticks than eight logs. That's all I can say. Wasting eight logs. Right, now if I put this back, it should have morphed. go. Four. Oh, I need a few more sticks. Which we can get from here. Need a few more sticks. Last eight logs. Seven logs. And she's finished. And then off camera I will do the interior. Ah, yeah, let's see. See, look at them all go. And I know I said that, you know, you should cut these into small sticks. Purely because. Actually, we've got some small sticks there. Hang on. Right. Maybe I will do what I said then. I was just going to use the long ones, but seeing as we only need. Uh, how many are there? Okay, that needs eight as well, so I will have to cut some. It's kind of hoping I would get away with not cutting, but that is not the case, I'm afraid. I will have to cut, cut one or two of those down. Uh, pick that log up. He's nearly done. So nearly done. You one. And then what I will also just test, not test, see, is if we upgrade the stairs, I bet you that needs planks and nails. I've got no more rope. Oh, I do have rope. Why didn't you? There we go. You taken the rope? Yes. So you're just two logs. Right. Two logs we have. 
Uh, you can't put them in your backpack, so don't even bother trying. Just won't allow you. They're too heavy. I mean, they are a log. A log is pretty heavy. Never tried lifting one. They are pretty heavy. Ta -da! Um. Right. I could put a wall around the base. Who knows? Maybe I will do some upgrades in the future. But for right now, I want a warm, cozy place to sleep. And there's one other thing that I just realized. Double doors. But we may... I may do that off camera. Who knows? I said I wanted to get the roof on. Uh, that needs... Fix. That needs one log and some sticks. There is a stick. Here. A long wooden stick. We shall cut you into short wooden sticks. Last panel. Last panel and we are there. Will you reach? Yep. One more log. There she is. There's the log. Ooh. Let's get ready to watch it turn brown. Ta-da! Done! How cool is that? We have accomplished our base with a beautiful view across the lake and up to the mountains. Got a nice little staircase. Got my little fire by the window so the smoke goes out the window. I will put double doors in here. You know, glass sliding doors that come across. Little balcony. Maybe, maybe I'll put two panels over the end. So at least I've got a little bit under shelter when it rains. And then a little bit where I can just sit back and catch the rays of the sun. Do a bit of fishing. Grab some food. Speak of fish. Grab some food. And then, <clears throat> also got to think about my... No, I don't want to move that tree. Put the old fishing, fishing, farming garden down. Move all this inside. But there we have it. It's basically a square box with a pointy roof. But I quite like it. Now, one last thing. Upgrade. So we need eight planks. Two logs. Four knives. That's not bad. That's not bad. And what do the walls take to upgrade? Because I can't remember off the top of my head. Nine planks, five logs. Ooh, we need trees. We need trees. But that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for that look. It may not happen all at once, but that's the kind of look I'm going to go for. But at least we have... Let's close the door. The interior light's going to drain the battery. Close that door. But at least we have a fully finished face and it's just a plain simple box but it's good enough for me and it's been good enough for us for many 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 years so as i said guys it was going to be a bit of a different choir to relaxing episode today as it was i've been spending quite a bit of time getting the resources apart from the logs and that's a result i'm pretty chuffed so thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Ding dong that little bell so you get notifications of when my videos go live. And I'll catch you all on the next one.